Okay, so when we left off, we had a, uh, a failure trying to build Resurrection Remix uh, 10, or Q, for uh, the uh, Discovery XA2 Ultra. And we converted our device tree from Lineage to uh, Resurrection Remix, and then immediately had this build error. Now notice that the actual problem, right, so it's every time you're looking for keywords like failed, error, that sort of thing, we see failed, and it's failing to build these camera parameters. And the reason that it's failing to build those camera parameters is because it says in this file, frameworks av camera parameters dot go line 46 space 53 it's calling for this library to be defined and it can't find any definition of this library so what I did is I brought up we have resurrection remix frameworks AV camera parameters go right which uh, we can look at here and we see line 46 and space 53 should be like right in here Yep, and it's saying, hey, what's your specific camera library? And uh, I don't have one specifically set up for this. So here's what's interesting. A couple things that we can do. We can specify the libraries and start setting that up. Uh, that seems like a lot of work to me. Um, another option, we take a look at what we did in Lineage. Why did this work in Lineage and it doesn't work in RR? Especially if you're converting from one to the other. So we look at Lineage and we see in Lineage 17 Frameworks AV Camera the only difference in this folder is this parameters.go file does not exist okay so what does that tell us well we could potentially delete the parameters.go file and see if everything builds fine we could have to copy the whole Frameworks AV Camera folder to make sure everything is set properly or uh, we may have to do the whole Frameworks AV folder from Lineage to RR to get this to work properly. Or we have to solve the issue which is providing some sort of specific camera parameters library. So uh, definitely a couple different roads to take. Let's go ahead and start with the easy road. Right? We just delete that, we run our build, and see if that works at all. And of course, it's like uh, missing and no known rule on how to make it. Uh, so it has something specifying, I need to build this, and it's not there, right? So we would go back to our trash, and we could uh, take this and restore it, and then go back to our area here. So deleting it obviously didn't work. Um, but I do want to show you different options. So then we could. Uh, comment this out right now if we comment this out it's probably going to give us some other errors but let's take a look to see what happens right so in this case it's the double slash double slash double slash double slash so we're taking out this whole portion right here to say okay let's say we just don't need that and see what happens we do our build and most likely we're going to run into another problem with doing it this this way but it, it is possible that it will continue but I, I think we're going to have an issue so we do uh, have an issue but this issue is different external tiny compress android unrecognized property product variables lineage support extended compress format product variables lineage target needs net D direct connect rule so unrecognized properties so these properties in these files are not something that it recognizes and that's because it's copied from lineage into RR and they haven't you know gone through and fixed that so we would have to go to external tiny compress Android BP line 25 so let's take a look at that let's see external tiny okay tiny compress right and that was the name of it android.bp on line 25 supports extended compress format 
from lineage okay so this is a product variable that we have in here so what we could do is we could actually get rid of this one and see what happens um, once you start having to edit the source material that tells you that this ROM is not ready for development okay so generally speaking if you have to start editing a serious amount of source material there's something else wrong uh, this is not set up yet for the average person to start doing their builds and doing what they need to do doesn't mean you can't use it just means that you're gonna run into quite a few problems so in this case what's our comment I don't see any other comments in here so let's see this one to here, this one to there, this one to there. All right, so we can potentially remove this portion right here, see what happens. Right, we can save that. Now, maybe removing it wasn't the right am answer. Maybe changing it to RR was the right answer. So it kind of depends on uh, what you need to do. And then system netd server. System netd server. And we see Android BP line 117. and we see this product variables again so now again we could try changing this to be RR and see if that works right in this one we removed it in this one we just put RR uh, and we can see what we get from both of those options to see which one might have been better now notice uh, it's still doesn't like the product variables of RR so we would probably just need to remove this material right here now removing material often causes problems because that means some function may not work anymore uh, you know so it is it does take a little bit of prudence so here we go uh, we're starting to build again and we'll see what happens now so we've we've been through a couple of errors but now we see that we have still more uh, lineage OS problems. So telecom depends on undefined module org lineage OS lib dot phone. So uh, the, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of errors and issues that we're running into here, which is just telling me that this uh, source material is just not ready yet to be used uh, in this way. Um, doesn't mean you couldn't go through and fix every single one of them but it means that you're gonna have to start doing a lot of work uh, we're only 10 seconds in to the build and we've already had uh, you know about four or five errors directly relating to the source material itself so when you start running into that uh, for me personally I suggest to you that's a sign that this material is not ready to be used yet and uh, you should either wait for them to finish getting it ready or uh, move on uh, to some other custom ROM um, but like I said you're welcome to go through and fix every one but now we would actually have to go find this org lineage OS lib phone put that in there and start doing a lot of different work so but I did want to show you that you know as we're trying to cut through some of these errors uh, we did cut through some of them because they disappeared uh, doesn't mean we necessarily fixed it correctly but that those are ways that we could go through and try to uh, to change things. So uh, hopefully that was at least uh, informative, if not helpful, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we want to do here next.